Hello traders, this is the Zigzag Man and this is part two of the Intel buy and sell signal video I did the other day and this time I put green arrows for buys, red arrows for sells, that's following through down here every green arrow is a buy signal and every red arrow is a sell signal now this is the kind of chart you're looking for where it goes straight up straight down straight up no no stalling in the middle area here at the 50 only one here on the CCI but basically even the CCI is just falling straight down going straight up that's the kind of chart you want to look for okay now my strategy says that you buy at the lower Bollinger Band on higher than average volume you sell at or just above the upper Bollinger Band on high volume same thing here high volume low high volume sell I won't talk about this one too much but here's a high volume buy and a high volume sell okay uh, volume is one of the most important indicators of them all now so my strategy says that you buy after the CCI drops below the minus 100 line and then crosses back up through it stochastic should be below the 20 line or it can be right at the 20 line like here and here but it's best if it drops below it and then sharply upticks that's the best kind okay that that shows you know look at this drop on the CCI straight down straight up that's what happens here not one red candle all the way to the top okay here's the buy signal here the PPS was below the lower Bollinger Band high volume stochastics confirmed it by dropping below 20 and then crossing back above it the fast line crosses up through the slow line okay on the MACD the buy signal comes when the histogram is below zero and crosses up above it and the fast line of the MACD crosses above the slow line like happens here and here and the the MACD didn't actually drop below zero that time but the MAC did MACD did over here it dropped way below it and then crossed back up that was a buy Okay. So, if you listen to the other video, I explain it in much more detail. But you buy at the lower Bollinger Band, sell at the upper, go short, all the way to below the lower, cover and buy, take it up to the upper Bollinger Band on high volume and sell, short it to the lower, cover to buy, or buy to cover and go long again sell at the upper Bollinger Band go short to the lower buy to cover and go long now each one of these runs is about two dollars so with a thousand shares you've made two thousand up two thousand down two thousand up almost two thousand down about two thousand up you get the idea if you don't have a margin account you can still make a lot of money Here's 2,000, 4,000, let's say 1,000, 5, 6, 7,000 dollars, 9,000 dollars in six months just going long. And as you can see, my CCI buy and sell signals call the top perfectly. There's the buy, there's the sell. You just line them up get a ruler or a piece of paper and line up my buy and sell signals with when it actually happens and you'll get a real good idea how well this CCI buy signal works now it doesn't the CCI doesn't have to drop below the minus 100 line and stochastics doesn't have to drop below the 20 line but it's best if it does so that's about it compare this to the other chart I did that doesn't have all the arrows and, and text on it 
and you'll get a real good idea of my buy and sell signals. And right here, I'll talk about this in another video because the zero line of the CCI and the 50 line of stochastics is a very, very important area. As you can see, they blew right up through it here. Same thing here. A lot of times they won't. They'll come up and hit the 50 line of stochastics and the zero line of the CCI and turn back. And at that point, you're going to take profits because the run is over. But like I said, I will get into that in great detail in another video. So that's about it for my buy and sell signals, part two. I want to wish you all happy trading from the zigzag man.